before logging off and going to i3 i will make this uh, desktop the best desktop that it can be meaning i wanted to make a movie and i did not have any software available so i'll go to this github first and then clone it again like this you go to your data which has already the i3 you click here or here and you say git clone me paste all of this down there what I need is um, the Sardi icons so I can run, run these what I need is the Sardi latest icons I run these what I need will take a bit longer but it's um, all the software install all needed software latest uh, run in terminal I was in the middle of making a movie and then um, I realized that making a tutorial on basis of a clean install on Linux Mint wouldn't be effective so I re initiated, reinstalled Linux Mint from scratch. I ran for the sixth time, I think, my script to have i3 on Linux Mint, so it has been tested thoroughly. Everything works. And, um, well, we're going to make it a terminal, uh, no, sorry, a desktop, which has all the software we need. Like, for instance, I didn't have Spotify, I didn't have Sublime Text, I didn't have a variety. And so my tutorial would be lame. And that's why I restarted from scratch. So this is me quickly installing everything that's needed to and I need to have uh, a GIMP, Inkscape, uh, all kind of software packages will be installed. You can just double click it here and see what's installed. can make this a little bit bigger I guess font and colors select oblivion a little bit darker so we're going to install sublime text variety and Spotify and Google Chrome and then we're going to install all kind of little applications and uh, so on okay let's see still working let's pause the movie for a moment okay all programs have been installed next thing to do is quickly think about all icons that will be wrong meaning you just always should run this one the hard code fix the latest and it's going to fix everything that is hard coded so it has a pathway and these are the icons of the programs that will be fixed that's done and if you want to if you're on a test pc you, or you know that the 474 doesn't give you any problem you can install also the latest stable 474 Kernel, which I installed probably today for the fifth time, so I knew it works. So I'll let it do its work and pause the movie again. Okay, the script has finished, and then uh, we're uh, all set. I could install this one as well, I really miss it if it's not. So I'll do it quickly, it doesn't take that much time. And I can show you guys what you might forget. Voila, it's gone, it's too fast. What you should right now is sudo change the shell of your username, minus s bin zsh, and next time you log in, so log off and log in. 
next time you are working with ZSH which gives a little bit more color to your terminal and uh, that's it for this movie I'm going to reboot restart and have a new kernel